Yes, yes, party people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome I can't smell the flowers to the 474th episode of The Hospital Podcast with myself, Dex. Big salute to everyone out here. I'm just going to shut up for this great vocal. This is Goddard and Green Tea Peng. This track is called Downers. So yeah, let me know where you're locking in from in the chat, and uh, yeah, let's have some fun today. Let's go. Getting high. Smell the flowers and I'm sick of all these towers Done too many downers I can't smell the flowers Been hanging out for hours Where's my powers and I'm sick of all these towers Towering over me Feeling fucking lonely Like no one even knows me Not even my See, what's going on, party people in the chat? I can see people from all around the world. We got Fresno, California, Stoke on Trent. You know what? That's one of God's greatest places on earth. I'm not going to lie, man. Sunny Los Angeles. We've got Russia in the chat. We've got Claremont, California. Wow. Cape Town, South Africa. First track that we that I just played now is by Goddard and Green Tea Peng. It's called Downers. It's a rework of an original tune. So I'm just going to take this time to say hello to everyone in the chat and obviously welcome you guys to the 474th episode of the Hospital Podcast. So we've got Johannesburg in the house. We've got Denver, Albuquerque. I've always loved the way that that uh, city or town, I'm not sure if it's a city or town, but how it's spelt, that's amazing, man. Big up Bristol, big up Lancaster, big up Brazil, Atlanta checking in. Hello from Sacramento, from Luton, Simon from Brighton. You know what, Brighton again, amazing city, man. Big up Samuel, North London in the house. Also, I want to give a massive shout out to everyone that we saw at Hospitality Bristol over the weekend. I had a really, really good time hosting my old friend, London Electricity, who absolutely smashed this set. And of course, the legend himself, Carlos Spy. Once again, big up Andre Urban. I want to give a massive shout out to Michigan from Madrid, from Canada. Oli Povey asks, can we please get an ad- event in Madrid? You know what? I would absolutely love that. Big up Finn, my friend. <laughs> that one made me chuckle, bro. <laughs> so yeah, Mr. Stephen Mills said, my dog farts stink. Bro, you gotta stop feeding him all that, like McDonald's and stuff, you know? So yeah, party people in the chat, what have you guys been up to? How was your weekend? Let me know, give me some stories. Anything great happened? Anything that you've achieved? I wanna hear it, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, so this amazing piece of music that you can hear right now uh, is by an artist called Atmos, featuring an amazing vocalist called Ida Hinkova, and this track is called Healing. So yeah, Mr. Anti Sad Boy says, just hung out with one of my friends. That's always good to hear. I'm playing a DB set in Denver tomorrow. Devin D's, big up Devin, man. Feel free to play some text tunes. <laughs> oh, that's, George, that was, a, that was a really bad joke. <laughs> just like my whole career. <laughs> Yes, Ire, big up yourself, yourself, my friend. Okay. So obviously it can't be a hospital podcast without some hospital classics, right? And you know what? I've just seen a comment that has actually put a massive smile on my face. Diana Lewis says that she has finished her chemo treatment. Can you do a massive favor for me, everyone in the chat, and just put some love hearts up for Diana, please? And look, I don't know, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I wish you the absolute best. And yeah, I really hope that you're over the hardest part of the road. So big up, Diana. Much love to you, my friend. And you know what, just looking at the chat right now, this is exactly why I love drum and bass music, man. One family. Right, some classic music from Chase and State is coming next. Big salute to DJ Amma, my friend, let's go. Yeah, it sounds like some people had some really good weekends. We've had people going raving. We've had Odri... Odri really has spent all weekend learning Russian whilst listening to Russian Bob and Subway and Receptor. And Stephen Mills just simply says it's zoo time. So, you know what, Stephen? I can't can't do that on the job. I'm not allowed. George, do you want to take over for a sec? I'll just nip outside.
So yeah, to everyone joining once again, welcome to the 474th episode of the Hospital Podcast with this big Kenyan giraffe, also known as Dex. One more time, I want to give a massive shout out to Diana. Genuinely, that has put a massive smile on, on my face. And like I said, it's really, really nice to see how many comments of solidarity there are in uh, the chat as well. And uh, yeah, we're very, very lucky to have all of you guys. Diana, hopefully you can take all that positive energy and uh, you can take it moving forward, man. So yeah. Switch it up a bit, shall we? A little bit of Makoto, a little bit of Pete Simpson. Let's go, spread love. Nevermore. And yeah, honestly, Forest man, there's nothing better than the drum and bass community, honestly. Some of the darkest times I've ever had in my life uh, has, has been turned around basically just by other people within this community, within this industry. So, like I said, I think we're very, we're very, very lucky people. Larch is asking when I'm going to be next back in Seattle. Fingers crossed my friend uh, will be hopefully at some point in the summer. Rable. So yeah, the weekend was amazing. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm not a huge Sorry, fan yeah. of American football, but I know the Super Bowl was on and I can tell because the neighbours were just making <laughs> so much noise. They were, they were having such a good time here, I was like... Maybe I should just go around and enjoy the party, but I didn't want to like go around and pretend that I know the rules because I don't really know what's going on. Like someone, can someone in the chat just please explain the rules to me? And I think I might actually enjoy the game a little bit more. Is that right? Uh, I don't know. Thank you. 
right time for some classic drum and bass music from the legendary Spirit and Digital. Rest in peace, of course, Spirit. Let's go. And yeah, whoever could name the tune coming in, I will send you a pack of biscuits. Salute to everyone that clocked that it is turbulence by the amazing Moving Fusion. Okay, so Archie likes custard creams. My friend hit me up on Instagram and I'll send you some custard creams. That sounds really weird, George. <laughs> Twenty pound is coming, my friend. See, I want to give up a massive shout out to Critical Music right now. I'm about to play something from a new artist called Vizsla, and this track is called Morpheus. Big shoot, big shoot, big shout out to Vizsla. Absolutely amazing tune. It's so good that it's actually stopped me from being able to speak English properly. But yeah, this track is called Morpheus. And yeah, big up critical music. Plus I'm in staycation. 
same place. I ain't showing no emotion, all you see is game face. Make case I get replaced. You and me ain't even in the scene and change nine left. So yeah, this amazing tune that you can hear right here. It's by two of my favorite artists in the world. The first of which is Hugh Hardy uh, and also Pavan from Foreign Beggars. And this track is called Face Off. It's out right now. And I uh, just thought I'd let you guys know that I'm actually jumping in the studio with Hugh Hardy tomorrow. Make a little follow up to our track, War Drum Rhythm. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that, Melissa, in the chat. Mr. Will Kino is an absolute treasure. And go and check him out. He's got a new label called Kino Music. Uh, he's self-releasing now, and the music that he's putting out at the moment is incredible. I mean, I played it a couple of episodes ago, I think, and it's a track called Lights On that I first heard at Knox in the Woods in 2022. I think it was 2022. And it was just like this soulful, piano-based, like, orchestral, just everything Kino is just unbelievable at. Right, time for a bit of metric. Big love and respect, Jonathan, my friend. It really does mean a lot. Archie, I will certainly check my DMs, my friend. So yeah, once again, you are locked in to everyone that is just joining us. You're locked into the 474th episode of the Hospital Podcast. With myself, Dex, we are in a new year, 2023. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited about 
Yeah, this track right here, a little story behind it is this, uh, so I played the North American tour back in January, uh, which was absolutely amazing. And my last stop was in Edmonton in Canada. And uh, it was an absolutely amazing show, an absolutely amazing way of ending uh, a three week tour over the pond. And I'm, the gentleman that was playing before me is an artist called Reflector. He's a, a local guy from Edmonton. And uh, he played an absolutely amazing set. He sent me some of his music. This tune is called High Grade. It's actually out now. I believe it was actually a free download. So if you could just do me a massive favor, whenever you guys get the opportunity to, um, search for Reflector. That's R-E-F-L-E-K-T-O-R. And yeah, like trust me, he's got some great music, man. So, uh, And that's one of the best things about touring, I guess, and that's like being able to kind of explore the world and stuff. You know, I'm seeing people in the comments talking about Tulum in Mexico, which is happening next month. Um, is that I get to discover new artists that I probably would have never done otherwise, you know? All right, time for some fresh new music from Eli. Remix of Bop and Subwave, Rave I Didn't Know Was The Last. And yeah, let's go. Hello to Brazil. All right, Hospital Podcast, let's do this. Yes, Melissa, I cannot re- wait to return to the amazing city of Pittsburgh. One of my favorite places to go to. It was an amazing stop on the last tour in June. And yeah, big up Shogun Audio. This track you can hear right now is by Monroe and Dusky, and it's called Mud. Which George, he probably doesn't know, but I believe it's out right now. Yeah, yeah, it's out now.
Lucy, I'm going to play a track. That was one of my favorite tracks uh, as, I guess, a teenager. And from an artist that kind of defined my teens and my early 20s in particular. So if you recognize this track, just let me know what it is in the comments. Eric, you are putting me on the spot. It's not a problem, my friend. I have plans to come to Toronto, hopefully in August this year. And yeah, big up whiskey, Kitte. Walk away, man. Yeah, this amazing piece of music that you can hear is by a Dutch artist called Waze. It's called Familiar Face and it's on his EP Repetition, which is out right now. I'm a huge fan of Waze's music. One of the reasons why I like him so much is just purely because he's just able to switch it up like it's nothing. I'm gonna play something classic from Mr. London Electricity. It's the Apex remix of Just One Second. You know, I was very lucky to play with Tony over the weekend and have a good catch up with him. And he absolutely smashed his set in Bristol. It was ridiculous. So yeah, Hospital Podcast, episode 474. Let me know how you guys are feeling in the comments and let's do this. Just one second. Yeah, just want to say rest in peace to the legendary Apex. This piece of music is absolutely incredible. And I'm just looking at basically the, the comments and just seeing people's reactions is basically how I feel right now. So yeah, big up Mr. London Electricity. It's so good to see that he's still absolutely smashing it. And someone asked me, so I don't know, do you have a track list for these sets or do you make them up on the spot? You know, I don't mind actually explaining. I get sent a lot of music um, from people, from established artists to up and comers, and I do listen to every single one. And it takes me a while to create these podcasts. 
So to be honest with you, I have like a rough idea of what I'm going to do. However, George is looking at me as if to say, why are you giving all your secrets away, bro? It's not a secret. <laughs> And, uh, and yeah, I mean, one of the greatest things about doing this podcast is having the, the kind of opportunity to listen to artists that I probably wouldn't, you know, get the opportunity to be exposed to. Um, and it's the reason why I love doing this podcast so much. It's just, uh, there's so much good drum and bass music, not only from established artists, but from up and coming artists as well. So with that being said, if you are a producer, if you make music, please send your music to dubsfordegs at gmail.com. If I don't respond and if I don't say anything, please keep sending music because if one tickles me, I'll play it. Right, we've got some new music coming up from Might Kiss and the very, very, very sick Kublai. And this track is called Rainco. resilient my friend honestly you know I mean look like, uh, you know and obviously it's a podcast so I'm gonna have to, to talk right but one of the one of the like the most positive parts of doing this podcast is genuinely sometimes I get sent a piece of music by someone that has, hasn't even you know even played out before and it's like they'll say in the, the email like I'm super nervous um, I've never played out before really and they'll send me a piece of music and it will just be one of the most detailed soulful pieces of music I've ever heard and it actually genuinely helps me raise my game a little bit because I'm seeing there's loads of really really talented producers, vocalists, MCs, you know multi-instrumentalists you know drum and bass is I think has really taken a real level up in the last 10 years in terms of you know how much musicality people are, are, are bringing to the genre now and um, so yeah I really appreciate up and coming artists and genuinely please keep sending me your music because not only as a fan of drum and bass I love you know, I love to listen to new music, but also, you know, it really does help me. I, you know, I learn a lot of stuff from people and I try and be a sponge as much as we can. I think that's actually really important as a, as a producer or an artist to, to never really stand still. And um, yeah, man, that's, I just wanted, I don't know why I wanted to say that. I'm just going to give a massive shout out to Arsenal, who are playing tonight. Who are they playing tonight, Tom? Let me know. But yeah, this track, Rainco, I'm going to let this second drop do its thing because obviously I talked over the first drop a little bit but this is from Mike Kiss. Mike Kiss is now releasing back again on his incredible label Gold Fat which has brought through some amazing people including one of my favourite artists right now Irie from Sri Lanka And I say like one of my favourite artists from Gold Fat and then Mr. Winslow just <laughs> pops up in the chat. As if he's saying, uh, what about me, bro? What about me? <laughs> yeah, can we give a massive shout out to Mr. Duncan Winslow? You know, he is, <laughs> I've got so much time for that guy, man. I really do. So yeah, so good to see you in the chat, my friend. Arsenal got Man City tonight, right? Yeah, that's a tough one, boy. <laughs> that's a tough one. Okay, George, I think it is getting towards that time, right? What do you reckon? Yeah. Okay. So there is this time in the podcast. 
where it's basically my favorite track of the moment, whether that's the last two weeks, the last month. To be honest, this track, <laughs> I mean, I've been a fan of this track for like three months, however long it's being played out. And I've been trying to work out what the words are for, yeah, like I said, nearly a quarter of a year now. And it's finally been released. Now, George is just ex as excited as I am. I can see him in my monitors in, in the back there. Excited? Having a good time? Can we just, uh, just give me a little wave uh, emoji in the chat just to say hello to George? Because he's out there working really, really hard and he has to listen to me waffle for over an hour and a half every two weeks. I mean, <laughs> you deserve a medal for that. <laughs> so, I believe it is that time and uh, we're just going to cut away. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, all the people around the world, it is time for the Dead Slusive. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Big Up Hospital podcast listeners, 474. So yeah, this is my Dex exclusive. This track is, I, I can't even describe what it does to me. Polar and Bryson, Emily Mackis, phone line. I'm just gonna let the music do the talking. In the party, trying to disconnect out of body. In my element, nearly flying, ready to transcend. Then I hear my phone ring and it's you again. Complaining, so restraining. Won't you loosen your grip? Need space here. Solo raving, give me less of your lip and pace it. Call it with the statements, call it with the sensitive, but no. So yeah, this is the exclusive Polar and Bryson, Emily Mackis. It's called Phone Line, man. So let me know how you feel about this tune with an emoji, please. Yes, big up Lithuania. Hey, hey, greetings from Brazil. Still in the party, trying to disconnect. But you gon' stop me, you won't get out of my head. So call it with the statements, call it with the sensitive. But no, I still hear the tone. You must be out of your mind. Yes, I want to give a massive shout out to Igor Kuzmenko, who is locking in from Ukraine. And he says, Ukraine approves. Hey, listen, if Ukraine approves, that means I approve. Big up Vancouver, Canada.
So yeah, genuinely, someone that I regard as a as a as a true friend, and um, his attitude to life is something that I actually genuinely take a lot of inspiration from. This track is by the legendary Etherwood, a good friend of mine. It's called American Fruity. We got Mr. DJ Meister. Not usually I would ignore, but I, just, I think I have to kind of just make this <laughs> a little bit obvious. Mr. Domino Layman says, I love good mixes, but hate it if every few seconds someone is talking, can't enjoy like that. You know what? I appreciate your opinion, my friend. And, and, and to be honest with you, we're all allowed them. But if you want to listen to mixes, listen to a mix. This is a podcast. It's about interacting with people. It's about talking about experiences, particularly with up and coming artists and so on and so forth. So I do apologize if you don't enjoy it, but you know, you can go somewhere else if you like. (laughs) But can I just say, before we say anything else in the chat, you know, we're all friends here. We'll obviously keep it civilized, right? (laughs) So yeah, sending love to Domino, my friend, big up. to continue the theme of talking. And you know what, Molly? It is all about respect. Like, I genuinely respect everyone's opinions. And, you know, you're going to see comments where people aren't always feeling what you're doing. And I think, actually, it is a bit of a lesson to any up-and-coming artist that if you do see something that, you know, might be a bit harsh or something that you weren't really expecting, then just take it in your stride. You're never going to be able to please everyone. The most important thing is that if you're a good person and you're having a good time, and you're creating music and you're trying to create vibes and you're creating stuff for other people to enjoy, just be confident in yourself and be confident in that. And um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. (laughs) Big up Coventry gang. So yeah, in the spirit of talking, uh, I got sent this track uh, a couple of weeks ago and it's by two artists called Flint and Figure and the vocalist is an artist called Road. And I've heard Road on a couple of tracks, including on an Imanu track, which, you know, I drink beer and smoke weed every day, so I'm like, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but it's an amazing vocal. And then I heard this vocal and I was like, I recognize her. Honestly, guys, this is absolutely incredible.
Big up my manipulation, my friend. Thank you so much. Triton, you are a genius, man. <laughs> Big up jar headpiece bagger. Do you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know if Rhoda's listening or she'll ever get an opportunity to listen back to this podcast, but I'm a huge fan of that voice. I, I Honestly, there's something about female vocals that I love, but particularly when they're kind of like breathy and emotive, I just, yeah, I just catch a vibe from it, man. It's so, so good. And yeah, to anyone that is like 10 o'clock in the morning, I do apologize that I'm drinking Peroni, but that's because, you know, otherwise I'd be a nervous wreck. <laughs> And yeah, big salute to the LA gang, Timeless gang, and of course the St. Louis gang as well. Any footage that you have from the shows, I would love to see. You know, I'm loving seeing the love for Road in the chat. So I'm going to play some new music again from Mr. Johnny Mikus. This track is called Smashed Live. It's 10 o'clock in California, George, and like me and you are having a beer, man. We're just making the people jealous, you know what I mean? <laughs> See, Finn says, if hospital uses green energy, is it solar powered? <laughs> Bruv, can I just say one thing? Yeah, my dad would love you on Christmas Day. He'd love to bust jokes, man. <laughs> Big up Finn, man, you absolute legend. <laughs> Feel 
Yeah, they got Carousel. And you are correct, Hugh Hardy is now exclusively signed to Solvent Records. So let's have a look now. So it's 1 p.m. in New York City. It's 9 p.m. in Moscow. Does that mean it's vodka time? Or have I just massively culturally appropriated an entire country? Maybe because I was drinking vodka last night. That's probably it. Uh, it's 6 p.m. in Bristletown. I, do you know what? I, I genuinely think that in Bristol, it's 3 a.m. at all times. <laughs> it's people just partying all the time. <laughs> And yes, Hugh is still a massive part of Hospital Records and the Hospitality family. And uh, like I said, I'm jumping in the studio with him tomorrow. Hugh is currently working on a big project and I, obviously I can't give anything away, but he's working on a lot of music at the moment. And let's just say that he's still managed to find another level up. Like I don't really understand <laughs> how he does it, but he genuinely, in my opinion, maybe I'm biased because I really like the guy, but he's one of the most underrated producers full stop in music, man. So it's 11 a.m. in New Mexico. Yes, yes, Andy Deggs, mum is loving the tunes. Pick up Claire's mum. 12 p.m. in Wisconsin. Do you know that's a place I've always wanted to go to? Is there a drum and bass scene out there? I don't know. So the reason why I'm letting this tune roll out to the second drop is by, um, so again, like I said, I was in Canada for the very first time uh, at the back end of last month and um, this is one of Toronto's finest. He is an artist that has released on Hospital Records called Polaris, and this is called Computer Music. It's 9 p.m. in Turkey. Again, you know what, I just wanna say, I wanna give some massive solidarity, love, best wishes, everything to the situation that's happening in Turkey and Syria at the moment. You know, this planet is a crazy one, and Mother Nature is very unforgiving, so, you know, I really, really hope that situation starts to improve because you know, I can't imagine how scary it is. So yeah, just sending love to all of our Turkish listeners and our Turkish family. Um, yeah, because I can't imagine what you guys are going through at the moment. And to, to, to see something like that is, yeah, I mean, I'm almost lost for words even talking about it. So um, yeah, just much love to Turkey and Syria, man. Listen, my friend, the chat is yours. If you want to talk politics in the chat, feel absolutely free. It is absolutely fine.
sleep with a flow back. Like when I come sleep with a throwback. Like when a man talking about me. Like when I get hit with a no trap. Load up. When a man smoking a go back. That's so stuck. That's so stuck. Like spin on the network, lads. You know that. Don't know when I'm on a mic, I go and don't know that I got the mic controlling. Don't know when I'm gonna switch my flow and don't know when I'm on a mic, I just play like Victor running up to another play like Face Rock. I can never walk with a lean track. Yeah, listen. Gunshot, gunshot, there's a bullet in the dance light. Gunshot, gunshot, there's a bullet in the dance light. Gunshot, gunshot, there's a bullet in the dance There's a bullet, 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 bullet in the yo. Gunshot, gunshot, there's a bullet in the dance light. Gunshot, gunshot, there's a bullet in the dance light. Gunshot, gunshot, there's a bullet in the dance. There's a bullet, 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 bullet in the yo. Step up on the stage and then we kill it. We're jumping on the drums and then you know I'm gonna feel it. Like, can you feel it? Drugs up in the rhythm. You know, it's actually really sad to hear that you think. So he says he's half Turkish and he doesn't have much hope left for the for the close future of the country. Like Russia, a lot of the youth with diplomas are leaving. So I don't think I'm entirely wrong. You know what, mate? I mean, you know, I obviously don't know uh, the situation. Um, you know, empirically, like in both countries, but it does feel at the moment like we're in a bit of a weird place in the world at the moment where it just I think ever since COVID everything kind of seems a little bit doom and gloom which is why when I do podcasts like this and have the opportunity to interact with all of you guys in the chat it's kind of like a, a bit of a respite from all the crazy crazy things that are happening you know war on the continent and the cost of living crisis and the fact that you know I mean I'm 34 years old I'd love to be able to buy a house at some point <laughs> I just don't think that's going to happen and I know usually it's not like politics in the chat but you know I just wanted to say as well like I'm sending love and solidarity to all of you guys out there because I know everyone's situation is different and uh, yeah I hope you're just pushing through and if you are having a down day just do what I do just stick a lens Mix on and go for a run. Oh, yeah, and UFOs, yeah. Step up on the stage and then we kill it. We're jumping on the drums and then you know I'm gonna feel it. That like, can you feel it? Drugs up in the rhythm. Anais has got the bass jumping like it's ribbit. Like man, it's illish. We are not the timid. We're Aki and our trackies and you know it's second skillet. That like, what's the minute? You know it's gonna get. Right, let's go. Blade Runner, let's do this. UFO gang out there, man. Let's go. Yeah, some brand new music coming up next by an artist called Suki. Absolute legend Dom is, and this is Like That featuring Alea May.
Wow. So, Hospitality on the Beach, by the way, is back in the spiritual home of Tisno in Croatia. But last year was in a very, very unique location in Dermi in Albania, and I thought it was absolutely amazing. But then Ross Knight has reminded me, and I do remember this, my friend, that he dislocated his shoulder in Albania. And I'm not going to lie, like, I mean, dislocating your shoulder really fucking hurts, love. Yeah, I mean, I know that as a fact. <laughs> but to do it in Albania and continue raving, honestly, Ross, I've got so much respect for you for that, bro, honestly. Legendary business. So yeah, this track that you can hear right here is by a very good friend of mine again, once again, um, and an artist that I've looked up to for many, many years. And I was lucky to tour with a little bit in the United States, and that is Makoto. This track is called Into the Vibe, and it is on his recently restarted Human Elements label. Big up Indie USA, let's go. people. Oh, it's gone silent all of a sudden. <laughs> You've been locked into the 474th edition of the Hospital Podcast, running for over a decade. Of course, as always, give a massive shout out to London Electricity. Um, I'm merely an imposter in his incredibly big shoes. Again, I come up with the weirdest analogies sometimes, George, don't I? <laughs> So yeah, unfortunately, we've come to the end of the podcast. And as you know, I say it's the last tune, but realistically, I'm probably going to play one more after that. Um, yeah, I want to give a massive shout out as well to everyone that's in Ohio at the moment. It just seems like there's crisis after crisis in the world. So like I said before, it is a really nice feeling to be able to come and do this podcast, to hang out with my mate George, who I'm going to get behind the decks at some point in the next 10 episodes. Is that all right? Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's, 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 you know, it's really nice to be able to hang out with you guys and, and you know, find out about what you guys have been up to on the weekend, find out you know, what kind of tunes you're liking and that kind of stuff. It, it really is like a, it's almost like this podcast is a bit of a social event for me. I'm kind of coming across like a bit of a loser. Do, do I even have any friends, George? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to play, <laughs> I'm going to play a couple more tunes. This first one is, uh, I mentioned his name a little bit earlier, um, Imanu, and this is a collab with Drolo, and this is called Catalyst, again, really forward thinking piece of music um and yeah uh, i hope you guys are, have enjoyed the podcast we will be back live i believe in about a month we've got a pre-record because i'm going to be away in the alps unfortunately but i will make sure that there is a podcast for you to enjoy i've been sent a lot of really really fucking sick music recently so uh it's in two weeks right there will be one every two weeks. So in two, this is George just talking to me in the background. Um, <laughs> so there will be one in two weeks time. It will be a pre-record, but yeah, of course, please jump in the comments, uh, feel free to interact. And then I should hopefully be back live this time next month. Um, so yeah, dubsfordegs at gmail.com. Um, and I say, unfortunately, Solomon, because I actually genuinely really, <laughs> really enjoy doing this podcast. And you guys need to stop taking the mickey out of me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to Morzine uh, with my good friend Lens. We're doing like a three-day tour. Uh, Lens is just absolutely smashing it at the moment. And um, she's actually been working on some new music herself. And some of the things that I've been hearing from her are just absolutely incredible. So I feel like I'm very, very lucky, uh, surrounded by a lot of talented artists, surrounded by a lot of amazing people in the chat. And um, yeah, uh, I'm just going to let this tune play. And uh, I might wrap it on a little bit later. <laughs> So yeah, the email is dubs 4 degs and it is spelt with the actual name, uh, dubs 4 F-O-R, degs at gmail.com. It takes me about an hour and 20 minutes to get home after the podcast, so when I do get home, I will put the full track list in the YouTube comments. 
my friend Jonathan, uh, what I'm going to, to say about the Alps is I'm literally about to do a post when I get home. So if you check my Instagram, it will be it will show you the three clubs that we're playing the Tuesday, the Wednesday and the Thursday next week. Yeah, big up Taiji. I'd love to smoke one with you at some point. Thank you so much for the good vibes. Honestly, guys, the reason why I have the energy that I do is for you guys, uh, is as a reason. The reason is because of you guys. And, and genuinely, I feel it is an absolute privilege to be able to do this podcast and interact with you guys in the chat. So thank you so much. Yes. So yeah, Drolo, Imanu, Catalyst. The track is out right now. And yeah, um, amazing stuff. Like very, very talented guys. And uh, yeah, I really, really love this. So I'm going to play one more tune. Um, just firstly, I wanted to, uh, to say a massive shout out to all the Forza Horizon gang. You know, ever since being on Forza, I didn't actually realize just how many people were exposed to drum and bass via a video game. And even when I was recording it with Chris Goss, big, big shout out to Chris Goss. We had a really, really great day just having a bit of fun and bantering and taking a mick out of each other and stuff. And we didn't, I mean, I, he's obviously done this many times before with, with Tony and they were always so great on the radio together. And, uh, but I didn't realize like just how many people, I guess, would discover hospital records through a video game. So yeah, big up the Forza Horizon crew. So I'm going to play one more tune and, um, you know, what I've been doing, I guess, recently, I guess in the last kind of eight or nine episodes is playing something that has been like an influence for me growing up. And, uh, you know, I'm a massive fan of hip hop as anyone that's locked into the podcast knows, particularly like, obviously, you know, the Americans, I have to admit, you know, I'm team Britain, but Americans, they, you know, you, you guys do hip hop much better than us. <laughs> I can say that. And uh, so this group was probably the first hip hop group that I heard that where the lyrical content was kind of like more positive and less about, you know, kind of like gangbang culture and all that kind of stuff. And um, they're called Jurassic Five and this track is called Freedom. And um, I thought this would be an apt tune to end on. So hospital podcast listeners, this has been the 474th episode with myself, Degs. Um, thank you to everyone that's locked into the chat. Thank you to everyone that's been sending me music to dubsfordegs at gmail.com. Um, I love you guys so much. I'm sending solidarity to everyone in Ohio, in Turkey, in Syria. If you're having a shit day, you know, again, sending you love and best wishes. And I hope this podcast can help in, in some ways. So, um, yeah, I'm going to sign out with this. This is Jurassic 5 Freedom. Thank you.
seldom travel by the multitude. The devil's devil has a couple fools. My culture's screwed, cause this word is misconstrued. Small countries exempt from food, cause leaders have different views. You choose. What mean the world to me is being free. Live and let live and just let it be. Let it be. Love, peace, and harmony. One universal family. One God, one aim, and one destiny. Oh, yeah. Imagine life without a choice at all. Giving a vote without a voice at all. These be the problems that we face. I'm talking poverty and race, but no matter what the case, we gotta. candidate to hate had the beat on the drum to communicate for what was to come to those who were hung they would decapitate the tongue if you would mention the word freedom got people screaming free will be your jamal but two out of three of y'all will probably be at the mall i'm heated with y'all the defeated will fall incomplete and unsolved when the word freedom's involved yo my forefathers hung in trees to be free rest in peace got rid of slavery but still kept the penitentiary And now freedom got a shotgun and shells with your name. Release the hot ones and let freedom I'm a reign. I'm former prisoner, Hollywood visitor. Dance for cats segregated on wax. My color got me handy. Cap, anus, and Andy for the freedom that just won't hand me. guys are incredible Do you know what? i love seeing all the comments about how you guys got into drum and bass and whether it was through metric fred v and graphics or whether it's through the podcast or whether it was through you know forza horizon it's an amazing thing man so yeah guys thank you so much i have been degs i guess i will always be degs <laughs> this will always be george this will always be the hospital podcast and you guys will always be fucking legends thank you guys so much much love to all of you and your families and i'll see you soon